Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. I know, I know, do not be mad at me, but I am very late on putting out um my college vlogs. I am so sorry. But welcome back to my channel. This is your girl Brittany. Um if you are not subscribed to my channel, go ahead and subscribe to my channel. Also like my channel. Um also comment on the video uh if you have any college questions or if it's some things you want to know or just some videos you think I should do. Um I know I'm about maybe two weeks late on putting out a video for uh August, but I have been working, working, working. But why I have been working I also been writing up some ideas of what kind of videos I want to put out. Um so let's get started to this video. I know I'm kind of doing this backwards, but that's what I want to do. Um, and then I just go back and touch up on some things at the end of August of uh, uh, things that you should have known at the beginning of school. So, yeah, I wanted to see how it was going to work out. And so let's get straight into it. Okay, this part is basically going to be about when you get the acceptance packets. And you are still confused on what to pack for the semester or what to bring to school for the semester. Um, don't worry, it happens to most of us. It even happened to me when I was a freshman. Um, and I noticed throughout the semester and throughout uh, community college, I kind of trimmed back on some of the things they told us to bring. Because I noticed at the beginning of the semester, as me being a freshman, some of the things we did not use. So, I just did not bring them or I did not repurchase them. Um, I'm here just to give you a little list, uh, a kind of pack it up list. First, I'm going to start off on the necessary stuff you need. Then, I'm going to work my way into the not really um, need, uh, not really a need in college. And then, I'm going to work on what do not to bring. But what not to bring is basically easier and it's more common sense of what not to bring um but uh they usually give you a list but it's not so detailed i guess you could say but uh today i'm gonna give you a sort of kind of detail make sure you uh list the mandatory things you need before you get to the unmandatory things you need if that makes sense for example um, comfortable clothes and shoes, you can go to class in because I'm pretty sure when you was in high school, you used to dress up a lot or something like that. But when it comes to college, you're going to do a lot of walking. So it's best to have on comfortable clothes and shoes. Um, not saying that you have to dress like a bomb every day, but you necessarily don't have to dress up every day. Because who does that? And in college, they don't do that no more as often as you think they would so yeah it's it's kind of not needed um not saying that it is not a good idea to bring at least one to three dressy outfits and shoes for former affairs because they have them at least uh probably once or twice every week so just be mindful of that um workout clothes and shoes are optional because every school that I know of have a gym. So those are options. Um, rain gear, of course, is a necessary need because who wants to walk in the rain? And trust me, they do not cancel class just because it's raining and thundering. You still have to go. Um, they better want to um, cancel class when you're in snow, which is stupid. So, um... Like umbrella coat, poncho jacket, etc., etc., that you think you need. Um, I know most of us do not like wearing tennis shoes all the time, but it is a great idea to bring like house shoes or slippers just to wear around when you're hanging in residence halls or you're in the lobby or you're just hanging out around your dorm room. Um, I saw bed sprays, um, like comforters, pillars. Um, just ask what side. Usually it's a twin. Um, usually it's a twin. It just depends on, um, the college. But 
they'll pretty sure they'll pretty much tell you what um what bed size you need but just don't forget your bed spreads um i used to say when you buy one comforter set buy an extra sheet so you can switch out between the two or buy two comforter sets it's up to you um you or clothes hangers are a must because your dresser space is limited so try hanging everything up that is possible like coach jacket jeans um dressy clothes like shirts under clothes and 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 bed stuff can be in the dresses but everything else is hung up um and i say that because it just saves a lot of room um dishes for like snacks cups and utensils um when i say dishes uh your school sometimes sell dishes for like 79 cents but it just depends on the school um but I feel like it's better to go to Walmart or something. So it, that's something you would not have to buy over and over and over. Or you can go to your school campus and just buy the plastic hard shaped bowls placed in a utensil that you can use. But that's basically if you want to do dishes or not. Um, also, you need headphones, earbuds, all that. This is basically, especially if you're walking to class, music keeps you there um also uh for music lovers especially if you need music to do like homework or anything um cell phone and charges of course sometimes they charge for phone line uh landline phones you just have to ask the college um i think it's free if you doing it as in um if it's around the neighborhood is free or anything on campus but if it's at a distance then that won't work okay let's say you stay in mississippi and you have to call somebody and you and your school is in alabama you can call any anybody in alabama for free but when it comes to mississippi i think you have to pay a fee but it just depends on that school again um my best option for you is to ask the housing officials about power strips power strips are the long thing that has multiple plugins on it um so yeah ask your uh housing officials how they feel about have you having power strips but usually they'll tell you if you can have them or not but if it don't say on the paper just still ask just in case um also, you will have a a big light and a lamp, I believe, of the sink. Uh, so it's it's very good if you or if you purchase a bed lamp or a desk lamp. It's basically a little bitty lamp that you can put near your bed or on your bed or on the desk. Um, so you can do late night homework or studying or reading or whatever, and you want to disturb your roommate. Um. There's usually a coming air TV, but you also need to bring one from for your room. Um, just whatever work between you and your uh, roommate. Um, but don't let it be like a one-sided deal. Let's say your roommate decides she wants to bring the TV. You at least bring DVDs or something to accommodate that. Or y'all just, you know, keep in touch with what y'all want to bring and what, who's going to bring what. And I'm pretty sure it'll work out. Um, a small refrigerator. Uh, again, um, ask the housing officials uh, what size the refrigerator is. Usually, they already sent you out a package of telling you um, what size it needs to be. Uh, so yeah, just ask your university. Uh, stacking containers. Uh, paper towels. Uh, when I say stacking containers, I mean containers that you can put stuff in and stack on top of each other. Um, so just be mindful of that. Um, cleaning supplies are a must. You must have cleaning supplies. Um, and as you, if you get a packet, that's the only thing they'll probably mention ahead of time is cleaning supplies. Um, shower shoes. Like cheap flip flops, those are shower shoes. Uh, and I say change them out at least every month or every two weeks. Um, 
because you know shower shoes is basically flip flops and you know flip flops they get dirty sometimes so it's best to change them out at least two weeks or to a month um you could go to a dollar store and buy them for like a dollar but since it's summertime it's best to go ahead and buy all of the flip flops that you like or the colors whatever color you like and just put them back for college and you can wear them to class and or you can have like a pair of shower shoes it's just up to you um towels washcloths soaps all that is, is a must um bathroom necessity like shower things a caddy a caddy will help you out on your shower stuff and plus it 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 saves space um so yeah laundry necessities like detergent dryer sheets hamper bag whatever you want to bring to touch your clothes in um if you buy a hamper i prefer you well i'm not gonna say prefer i suggest that you get one that have wheels on it it is a must um a first aid kit and a medicine kit a first aid kit is like for band-aids alcohol peroxide all this stuff but a medicine kit is like for cold medicine, pain medicine, um, everything else medicine that you need. Okay, now these, the next couple of pieces that I mentioned to you guys are going to be the expensive part. But it's also very much needed. And I know most of us wait till we get on campus to buy most of this stuff, but trust me, um, it is cheaper off campus. Um like school supplies computer laptop um planners are a must dates can be very forgettable and i'm also going to do a um video explaining how i do my um my college dates and stuff i will also i'm thinking when i start school i'm gonna put that video out first then i'm gonna move my way up to putting out vlogs i'm gonna see how that works if it don't work right then we're just gonna stick to the vlogs and i'm just gonna separate them i'll tell y'all how i'm gonna do that um a calculator for math and i promise you if you buy one if you bought a a ti 84 calculator in high school you could use that same calculator um and it still works or you can get the ti 84 ce graphic calculator it works the same too um also dictionaries you need dictionaries especially because essay time i hope you did not think that just because you're going to college the essays are going to stop they speed up when you're in college so a dictionary is very necessary okay do not always rely on a phone to do the work for you a dictionary can help you okay um The package might have included what not to bring, but I'm not sure because every school is different. Basically, they'll give you like one or two things not to bring, and the rest of it is what you need to bring. But this is what I'm going to tell you, so yeah. No hot plates, no skillets, no toasters. Um, no candles, no pets, no water beds. And you might be looking at me like, water beds? Who bring? It's possible. Trust me. Um, no nails to hang pictures because the room I was in was mainly concrete, so, um, you don't need, um, uh, nails, okay? Um, they say do not bring printers, but printing on campus is so expensive. It's like, for two sheets, you're probably paying 25 cents right off real, but that might not sound a lot, but if you at 15 weeks plus every other week or every day you have to print a new a new powerpoint or a new or a new homework or a new essay paper out that adds up so not bringing a printer is crazy but i brought a printer so it it, it just depends on your preference um if you got money like that, do what you want to do. But when it comes to a printer, I love to bring my own printer, okay? So it's like I'm buying ink probably 
every two weeks. It just depends on how big your printer is. And I'm not saying bring a big printer, like a printer that you could print paper, fax papers. You don't need all that. Just bring a simple printer from Walmart or your local electronic store. It's up to you. Some might even tell you not to bring school, high school t-shirts because you'll get a lot of shirts at school at a lot of school functions. Um, teachers just give you shirts. You can buy shirts from the school. And that's crazy. Um, I did. I brought every t-shirt I had from my high school. Every t-shirt that I bought from like festivals. I bought every t-shirt I could because I started school in the summer. And it was hot. So even though I did receive a lot of shirts in college during that semester, it's never enough for t-shirts, okay? So don't let no one tell you that. But I hope you are having a good semester if you have already started school. I hope that you're having a good senior year in high school if you have started. Just keep your head up, study. Um, yeah, and progress, 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 progress. Um, and let me know how school is going for you. And I know most of you started like a week or two ago. And most of college students are starting this week and next week. I am starting next week. And I think it is a Friday that I start, to be exact. Um, I will try to get my first vlog out. But I still have not decided on what camera I should buy. So if you guys know some cameras that uh, will be great for vlogging or just take pictures or anything, let me know below. And, and if I decide to get the camera that you suggested, then you'll be featured on one of my videos. Um. So yeah, that's all I have for you guys. I hope you all are having a good day. And a great school year to start off with. Um, if you're a senior, let me know below. And I will enter you into one of my giveaways. And I will try to help you out. So, yeah. That's all I have for you guys today. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel, of course. And be notified of every time I put up a new video. You have to click the bell. Um, click the bell twice. So you can get every notification. Um, like I said, comment on my videos. Like my videos. Tell me what you guys want to see. My videos are basically depending on what you guys want to see. And what you are interested in. Like I said before, I have many challenges I have to put out. And I will be starting to put them out in September, mid-October. Um, I just want to get all my school videos pushed out the way. Um, so around midterm time where you can just ease back, um, I'm going to put out some challenges, some funny videos for you guys to watch. Well, that's all I have for you guys today. I hope you enjoyed this video and this time we have shared together. And I'll see you next time, guys. Be blessed.